Hey guys, and welcome back to Project Ozone. So, I hope you guys are all well. Um, I'm doing fantastic. I'm really looking forward to today because I am looking to get into uh, A2. Okay, so I want to actually have the controller, I want some crafting, I want some mass storage because at the moment we've got components over there, we've got components over there, we've got quite a few chests in here which are just unstacked and disorganized and I don't know where is what and it's a bit it's a bit of a pain keep running backwards and forwards and sorting this stuff out and now that we have a tesseract and yes in between if I can actually find it there just up there is our setup so if I I've got 90, no, I've only got 57%. So I have been doing some work around. I will pop up there and show you what that's like up there in a minute. So as you can see, I have sorted out our collection sort of area. I've also sorted out over here. So we don't have all our machines running here. We have the Tesseract down there, which is being powered from our supply up there. This is all running nicely. I've added some new ones on here. So as you can see the stone um, obsidian and cobblestone are all in this section now because it is coming down from below where it's creating it and I've got these elevator blocks which were nice and cheap uh, which I can't complain about so in here we're making stone cobblestone obsidian and that gets sent straight up straight into the into the cupboards um, so I've moved our ores down here all our machines are down here and if you're wondering why these pillars are like this that are connected to the one at the top. I don't particularly like situations where things just float underneath, so I wanted them connected to something. So, you know, like these islands here are connected to the main island, so I can't have these floating. They need to be connected to something. So that's done to that and that. I don't know if I will do one below that. There isn't specifically a reason to have one where crops don't um, have lights. The only thing I could think that for would be like mushrooms and stuff, which I don't think I will really get into. Um, I don't really have any reason to go into mushrooms at the moment. And also over here, because our mob farm is working really hard, I've had to upgrade its storage. I do need to look into getting something that will store the experience. Um, I do believe there is something. Uh, what is it called? It is called a experience obelisk. obelisk that was it. Uh, which is quite easy really. That's just some uh, energetic alloy, some solarium, some more uh, solarium and our machine frame which we will know how to make so I will most probably make that in between uh, a cut if we are going to make another one I have just realized I have left all this up here for no reason because uh, this was originally covering all the cables underneath so it didn't shine light through um, so yeah and if you're realizing why I'm not getting any of this stuff it's all come straight into here which is uh which is a nice little thing. So that, that picks up everything uh, in an 8x8x8 eight by eight by eight radius, uh, throws it into here, and then it all gets sorted out. So as you can see, I've got ourselves some deep storage units for our loot bags, which is good, because then we can just have an infinite amount. At the moment, we've only got 10 of these. If we ever get to above 64, then yes, I will get another one of these. I do need to get these upgraded as well but at the moment these can actually stack up to 64 stacks of 64 whereas these only think 64 is a stack and then I've put a couple of these in for uh, picking up the different equipments and stuff so bows yeah they were taking up so much uh, so we have got some of these so we will have to find the disenchanter if that is in this mod pack because uh, we can utilize some of these so we've got like power twos which are quite good and breakings would be good uh, some experience boost so we could put them on our diamond spikes up there uh, if we put enchant them then we'll get more experience which would be good because we might need we might need experience for other things that's a bit weird that um so yeah we do want to go into the a2 route uh, which is fine because i'm happy to do that i really want that i need it in here um, I'm thinking I'm going to put it in here 
like clear all these boxes out because I don't need well, I don't really need tinkers anymore. And these furnaces, I can just stack this bed. I can move outside or something. Or we do need to either have a look at upgrading this house or just getting a new one. You know, maybe start a world in the mining world where we just build houses and stuff. Because uh, it is nice living in the void, but we just keep going to keep expanding. So if you guys have any good ideas of how to expand this place. Um, Again, I'm thinking about doing the curvatures in between all of these, just so that looks a bit nice. And I haven't touched anything over here because we've had no reason to since we've upgraded to a mechanism and a, a thermal expansion and stuff like that. So yeah, we've had literally no reason to use that over there. So let's have a look. Um, I did go and find uh, another asteroid, another uh, meter actually I say so I actually made the compass which is nice and cheap um, and I had a couple of these from our first one and I finally found the inscriber unit because that is the only one you cannot make in this mod pack it is the weirdest thing if I show you it's been disabled and the only way you could find it was from loot bags or finding new meteorites and I could not find it from the loot bag so I had to go and explore. So as you can see, I went for a long journey because it kept giving me false negatives and stuff all the way out here. And then I eventually found one very nice and close to us over here. Um, there you go. So uh, once I mined into that one, that had the rest of the stuff inside it. So I've got a couple of extras and that was the one I was mainly looking for because of course, we need silicon to make some of the equipment. So the way I'm going to do it is I am, uh, let's go straight into it. So it was applied, could help if I could spell. No, logistics, I'm having some Bad times at the moment. Apply, I swear it's built applied right. Okay, that was that was very weird. Okay, so uh, I do need, we need to make ourselves an ME, ME controller, uh, an ME drive. We don't really need to go straight into controller straight away. We can just do an interface if we want to and then just stack uh, stuff into the side of that. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, I haven't, really ever made one of these myself. Um, I've seen other people make them. Uh, so this will be the first time I'm ever making this. So this is going to be a complete experience for me. So I'm going to need an inscriber because um, we need to make all of this stuff up and we need silicon. So I'm going to need a sag mill. Didn't I create a sag mill? Now this is the question. This is when it comes handy. So as you can see, I've got some more inscriber units here, but I don't really need that. Um, yeah, this is where it comes in handy to set this stuff up. So let's actually have a look at what the inscriber takes. So again, this is some Fluix crystals, which is drop one charge, certis quartz, one nether quartz and redstone dust in a puddle next to each other and wait for a moment and receive two flux crystals. Okay, so I've never done this, so we will do this part together uh, because, hey, you guys on my channel have never seen this before with me. So um, it was, it wasn't the dust, was it? It was charged, charged certis. Um, and I believe that is all over here. So we'll just pop across over here, pick up all that stuff. I do like these. These are just so, just they're so nice. Uh, so there's Certus Quartz, but that's not charged. Um, it wanted Nether Quartz, if I was right. No, we we're looking for the Inscriber, aren't we, guys? Inscriber, there you go. I don't have a seed. I don't even know how to make the seed. Um, I did that wrong. No. Nope. That one. 
Uh, one charged, one nether quartz, and one redstone. So redstone is easy to grab. Uh, I've got nether, and all I need now is charged. I only have one left, so better make this a good one. Um, I'm going to have to find out how to sift it and then make it. I know you can make it magical crops, which will be most probably the way next to do it. So if we just put all these down here and Q, Q, Q. So as you can see, that's doing something. They're bouncing around and that's it done. Wow. I'm actually really amazed. Guys, we actually made ourselves some Fluix crystals. Um, so these are used for quite a lot of things. So it's most probably all the applied energistic stuff. Um, we've got the chargers, so we don't really need that. And actually with the chargers, we can make our own charged ones. So yeah, where do we put the charger? Somewhere, I will find it. <laughs> I should put it away. I just can't remember where I put it. There it is, we've got two of them. Oh, we've got lots of certus, so we can, uh, we can charge them up in that as well. So that is good. So we were making the inscriber, which is just sticky pistons, iron, and a fluix. So we will pop across here, get some, do I have any cobble on me? No, I don't. Some cobble, I should have some wood on me, I do. Uh, let me get some more iron. No, I've got iron, so we don't actually need that. Let's go up, because that is actually quite noisy. We've got the redstone, so we need two of that, two iron. We need to kick that back out because we need to actually get some wood. Um, so that, that, um, two of them across the top and the rest is cobble. So we got two of those. So imagine if we can just make this with applied energistics. It would be so much fun. We don't have to do anything. Everything just gets made for us. That was it, wasn't it? Well, that was the inscriber. Iron. Oh, sticky pistons. Um, no. Is there a way we can do these? Slime balls, rubber, raw rubber. Um, do I have any more raw rubber? That is the problem. Let's have a quick snack. And yeah, I did have some rubber, but I can't remember where I put it. Which is, of course, why we're actually doing this whole process. Um, so I don't keep losing things. But that way I can just search for it in one complete panel. Um, did I, have I not got slime yet either? No, I have seen a couple of slime chunks or slime islands in thingy, um, in the mining world. So we wanted rubber so i think i have a rubber tree yes i do i have a rubber sapling here so let's just grow that and then we can just get some rubber that way that would just be i think the quickest way of doing it so if we just grab that we can then put that and that away no we want that we want the saplings away and then hopefully we can make some sticky pistons and we can get this all done. So we want those to be sticky. There we go. And like that. And we've got ourselves an inscriber. So let's pop downstairs. Will this take power? Is this taking power? I don't know, does the inscriber need power? Insert power. Um, let's have a look. So we wanted to make a controller. So we need a inscriber with a diamond. Diamond. So diamond at the top and... Strange. Um, recipe. Inscriber. Diamond there with inscriber press there. Okay. Am I not got the right processor? Oh no, it's an engineering press. Okay. 
Um, so as you can see, guys, I am very new to this. I have absolutely no clue what I'm doing. Okay, so yeah, it is accepting power. And there we go. We've got ourselves a printed engineering circuit. That's pretty cool. From that, we need silicon. So we needed a sag mill. And that was the question, wasn't it? Did I actually build myself a sag mill? Um, I did build myself a sag mill. That is good. Okay, so I'm going to have to put you here at the moment. Sag mill. And I needed to sift sand, I believe. So if I pulverize this down to gravel and then do that. So if we have a look at the rest of the stuff we need, we need skystone blocks which is small bricks changed uh, which is skystone cooked which I have skystone so whoop. that was a bit random so now we've got that stuff, so that's fine. So if I put that down here, because I won't be using this for anything else but trying to build this controller, um, I do need to build, uh, was it an energy acceptor, I believe? Uh, but again, I'm new to this, so it's all new. I need to build some more of these. Oh no, these need to be the pure. Drop fluid seeds made from fluid dust and sand into a puddle of water to make the process faster. Add crystal growth accelerators. So I need fluid dust and sand. Okay. So I've got sand anyway. I needed that in the sag mill. So this should be making me silicone, which it is. And I need to put that one in. That's a silicon press, so I would assume so. And then what was the one I actually needed for this? It's just both of them together with some redstone. Okay, so that's uh, simple enough. If I put you, take you out, put you in, and you and some redstone. Ah, oh, this is cool guys, we're actually, uh, we're actually doing something here. So I needed some fluix dust. Do I actually have any fluix dust? I think I actually have plenty of fluix dust. Now it's sort of certus quartz. Hmm. How do you make fluix dust? Oh no, I spelled it wrong. Fluix dust, there we go, which is from Fluix anyway. Okay, so I'm going to make up a few more of these there. Um, yeah, I'm going to... Yeah, should we say... Oh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and wait, make some more of these Fluix crystals. Um, maybe make some crops of it, because I believe... That is just Imperio, and I should have Imperio, or at least the ability to have Imperio. Actually, while we are here, guys, I have plenty of Enderium crops, so let's upgrade our Extreme and get rid of the rest. Um, so I can grab that. I need the... No, I want the Extreme. Extreme around that will then make the Master, which means I don't need any of these ever again. So let's just clear our list while we are here and just throw these away. So we can put that back and that back and clear up. So we now have our Master Infusion Zone, so I never have to worry about recreating those. So what I'm going to do is I am going to get all the Missio from over there, change it, make it into uh, Empirico, make ourselves some Flux crops, plant them, Get them up, get them running, and get the rest of this down here going. Oh, that's cool. You can actually see it inside. That's cool. Okay, so that's given us a engineering process, which is cool, because that goes there. And then all we need is more of these to go around the edge. So guys, yep, I'll see you in a second once I pop back. So guys, I think, I think they are done. Are they done? Yes, 
I now have some pierres. That's good because I need to drop off these instead. So yeah, they do take a while. Um, I did put them over there in the lake pond type thing where I've been growing all this stuff up. Yeah, for 20 actual real time minutes, uh, I only got 5%. So I had to grow myself the crystal growth accelerator, which was here. So to make all this stuff up, I had to make the quartz glass start, which is, that's, that's fairly cheap anyway. Um, these Amy cables were cheap because I'd already made up the quartz fiber, which again is cheap because it's just glass and this stuff that I'm getting from uh, the system. And then these, I just did four because that was the easy way of doing it. Um, so yeah, and then the only problem was I put it next to power, it wouldn't accept power. So I need to do a, was it an energy acceptor? I think it is. Yeah, energy acceptor. So I need to do this one, which had to have all that other stuff, which is fairly cheap. Uh, and that makes life easy. It also makes things a lot quicker. So now I've dropped them in there. As you can see, they're already on 8%. So they take about five minutes um, to be done. But because we have these, we can now make our ME controller. So if we pop down here, I've got everything else set up. So there we go. We've got ourselves an ME controller. Um, I'm really happy about this. So if I get around here, skew if, um, if I, there we go. So we now have ourselves a controller, which is now fully charged completely, which is now working. Um, I did get an, a thingy for that, which I was expecting to get one for that. Um, and because we've done that, I was going to make the ME drive as well which was nice and cheap. And if we, I'll just pick them up. If I put, if I put that there, then uh, everything else is running. So if I put them back in, and if we have a look at our drives, but without that, um, we're not functioning because what we need is a terminal to access it. And I'm gonna skip straight from the terminal, straight to the crafting one, because this is what we need. Uh, but the only problem with that is I need the annihilation core, uh, which is which is quite a weird one. And I need some pure. No, that's not. Where did I need? I needed pure for something, and this is why that was it. I needed pure for this to get that inscribed. Um, otherwise, it's just it's just the silicone one, which is fine. I can get that going, and. This one is just the quartz glass again with some glowstone, redstone, and iron, which I don't actually have enough of. So I need five of you, four glass. I think it was like this with the glass. There we go. And that's that done. So I put that down there. It was then redstone in the middle, iron on the end, and two glowstones. If I there we go. I don't really mind about the glowstone. It actually gave me two, which is perfect. So that's given me a illuminated, illuminated panel, which is good because I need that for that. Gold logic, which is gold and silicone. So gold should be downstairs. Let's have a look. No, it should be here. Gold, gold in there with, I have put them all the way. Yes, I have. One, two, three, four. And this was a logic one. And we need silicone, which is good. So I've got plenty of that. And I need that for a silicone press. Take that out. Silicone in. So I thought it was going to put straight. If you watch back here, it also makes it as well, which I think I was really impressed about earlier. It doesn't take a lot to impress me, as you, as you guys can find out. Um, but yeah, I thought that was actually really cool that you can watch it from the outside. And again, this needs redstone, uh, which I have plenty of. Uh, and yeah, everything is getting really full now. Um, so this is going to give me that. So let's get rid of some of this stuff up here that we don't need. I get rid of that mana steel. I still don't know why I have that on me, actually. And some random flowers I picked up as well. Um, so that is that. 
Uh, and now I need these formation cores, which is again another one of those. That tell me it's another one for that one as well. Yep. So, uh, and it was logic, wasn't it, guys? Logic, logic. Yeah. The only problem with this is you can't stack items, so you can't just continue doing them. You can get the upgrades. Uh, I haven't even looked at these like advanced cards, basic cards. Uh, capacity, crafting, fuzzies, inverters, redstone, acceleration cards, that's what we're after. Um, so you need the advanced cards and some fluix, which is quite expensive at the moment, so we're not going to do that. Let's just make up a couple more of these gold ones. I do need some more silicone. So hopefully this will give us some, because I'm going to need some. Uh, with this press, so I will most probably set up multiple presses because it will be simpler that way um, And then I can actually get stuff that we need Have these just on continuous manufacturing um, Like deep storage sort of sort of creations Because that oh, seriously these don't stack either. That is just silly yeah, because this would just be so much easier if I can just stack, but I can shift right click in, which does make life a little bit easier. Put it that way. So we were making a crafting terminal. Uh, yes, yeah, so we got those. And now I need the gold. I've got Certus and I've got. Fluix dust. I can get some Fluix. There we go, some Fluix, and then I can pulverize you for dust, which is good. So I could put you in there, the gold processor, and was it Certus? Yes. Hmm. I would get that from here. Yeah. <laughs> just lucky I have quite a few of these just laying around. So that will give me two formation cores. And now I need to make the annihilation, which is a nether or pure. And they've actually run out of space. So there's nether. Another gold processor, and there's that. So these I can just put away at the moment. I can use them later. And then it was a panel, annihilation, a formation, and that will give me an Emmy crafting terminal. So if I then go and put this on here. I don't understand. I don't know what it's done. No. Okay, but it is device is offline. Why are you offline? Can it only accept from the tops of things like this? No. Hmm. Have I picked up the Fluix? I have, I've picked up the Certus. Can I connect you? <laughs> Don't need them anymore, apparently. Okay, so let's put these away. Okay, so I now have uh, access to my terminal, apparently, which is pretty good. I thought this was the, this is an ME terminal. Did I not make the crafting terminal? Oh no, I've just made an ME terminal, terminal. I now need, yes, that was it. I needed the, the Certus for this, didn't I? So, okay guys, I'm gonna go away, get this done, and then gain access to this, and then we will look at doing drives. So, I'll see you in a second. So guys, I have been doing some work in between, um, and yeah, here we go. So I moved everything across here. The Tesseract is now below. I'll do that. You can see it's just the Tesseract, then the Energy Acceptor. <coughs> which is then going into the controller, and I've built this, the drives. 
and I've just put the crafting terminal on here. So all of that was easy. Um, so yeah, all I've done is I've just gone into the 1K storage just so I could actually store stuff, some stuff in here. So as you can see, I've moved most of our stuff in here. So all our chests from here are gone. All the random chests from over there are gone. All the iron and stuff from the box down there is all come in here. I've cleared out here, which is all nice. So we've actually cleared everything else. So we haven't um, done anything else but today. I just really wanted to get this done because, well, this is the first time I've ever, I've ever played of an A2. Um, and actually built an A2 system. So I'm quite happy. Um, this should make everything a little easier to craft and stuff like that because I will just throw everything into there. Uh, so in the future we will look at, I believe it is like the P2P tunnels or something and we will get all of these connected up to the hub so we never really have to walk over there again everything will just be on file so we can just grab it when we need it so guys so in between this episode and the next i am going to upgrade all of these storage cells i'm going to go up to the 4k i only put the 1k's in here just so that we had some storage to put things on so sadly guys, that is all I've got time for today. So if you did like this, then please hit the like button. And if you want to see more, then please do subscribe. But I'll see you in the next one. Bye.